building an indie business in the center of venture capital. I am Alex Edmonds. People on the internet, they know me as Supreme Rumham, and this is the Building an Indie Business podcast recorded in the Indie Business Studio. Okay, so uh, this episode is going to be about TikTok. So if you guys remember the first episode I did about TikTok, um, I said that Shaw told me that there's a there's a difference in like your views after the first 50 videos, right? So I did the first 50 videos. So I'm going to talk about all the results from that, what I've learned, some other things, the current results after the first 50 videos. So yeah, uh, let's get into it, right? Okay, so the first three videos of the 50 videos, um, the three morning videos. So I did face, which is one of my face and me talking about content. Then there's the video, which is me taking a short video from Overcast and having that little clip That's the video, right? And then there's screen, which is a screenshot of a tweet of the same exact content. So the same exact content, three different formats. The first, uh, the face video got 176 views. The video got 113 views. And the screenshot got 153 views, right? And then the same format, um, that was the morning post, then I did it in the afternoon, and that was 149 views, 162, and two views, right? So that that single digit one, that's concerning. Then I did the same thing at night, and it's 157, 147, and 143, right? Okay, and then I learned that you can do different voices on TikTok. Like, you can add an effect that changes the voice. It's like like a robot voice, microphone voice, megaphone voice. So, those are searchable, which if you add an element that's searchable, that increases visibility, which increases views. So, I started doing that, right? And I think I did one for every hour with the, with the different voice for every hour that I was up, right? Oh, there's a helium voice too. So let me let me talk about that. So I did 3 a.m. 158, 4 a.m. 159, uh, 5 a.m. 150, 6 a.m. 176, uh, 7 a.m. 180. The, uh, pay attention to that one. 8 a.m., 151, 9 a.m., 146, 10 a.m., 166, 11 a.m., 157, 12 p.m., 138, 1 p.m., 127, 2 p.m., 143, 3 p.m., 119, 4 p.m., 160, 5 p.m., 163, 6 p.m., 160, 7 p.m., 160, 9 p.m., 169, and I'm not up at 10 p.m. enough to post a video. So, yeah, and then, so, what I learned is that 7 a.m., if, if that's, mostly my results are inconclusive, right? It's all about the same, except for 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. PM. So that means after 10 or after 9 p.m. and at 7, uh, that's significant. So then I did two face videos at 7 a.m. Uh, and that got 159 and 146. So I didn't get to 180 and I do, didn't do it. I didn't get it after, right? I didn't do above 180 after that. 1 7 a.m. video, right? 
So, yeah, inconclusive. And then, so I was posting about finance. I specifically did videos about finance where, like, I, I took film budgets, film production budgets, and I listened to about a minute of it, and I summarized that in 15 seconds. I kept the video short, right, because that's... You got to catch people's attention in a short amount of time. And so I did short videos. So I also did jokes and I wanted to see if that made a difference. And um, it didn't. I got the same amount of views, like 120, 130, 140. I did two joke videos, right? And I got the same results. So the very first videos I did on TikTok... They got a lot of views. It was like 500, 300, 200. First three videos, right? And then I read on Twitter that the reason why I haven't gotten those same results in the videos, because I've been doing the same exact content, right? Same type of content. Is I heard that TikTok pumps up the amount of views on your first video, your first few videos, and that sucks you into the vortex, right? So you want to keep posting and getting those same uh, results so you keep doing the same thing and just keep posting because that's what they want they want you to keep posting right okay and then I was looking at my page right and I was looking at the videos because I uh I didn't turn on analytics right away because I didn't know how to do that and then I did and then it wouldn't give me the results of the videos that I haven't posted previously, but I noticed something interesting. So I wasn't getting all the notifications that, um, a, like interaction that I was having on the videos. So people were liking and commenting on the videos, but that never showed up in my notifications. It, w- it only showed up when I clicked on a video. So when I posted a video, I got no notifications. But then I I clicked on the video and it showed that I had like 20 likes, 10 likes, 5 likes. So people were liking the videos, they were commenting too, but they weren't following me. So I thought that was weird, right? They, They follow me. No, they like my stuff, but they don't actually follow me, right? So then the analytics. Um, the analytics showed me where people were finding my content. It would... It wouldn't show me detailed content or detailed analytics. It would show me where people were finding my content. And it, they had they showed me two options, right? They showed me it was coming from the For You page, which is like the news feed of Twitter. And then there were, oh, the following page, right? So people who followed me. And then, right? It, I, what I wanted, though, is I want, like, detailed analytics. I want to see, oh, they were coming from this hashtag. They were coming from the search. They were searching for, you know, finance, and they found your video, right? That's what I wanted. And then uh, they have other analytics, but I need 100 followers to get that analytics. And I um, I don't have 100 followers, so what they would show me if I had 100 followers, let me go on TikTok and see if they will show me that. Um, let's see, going through it, view analytics, um, followers, no, it will not. Um, follower, oh, it, it would show me like gender, it would show me like top territories, it would show me Follower activities, which is times when your followers are most active on TikTok. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what else do I say? Yeah. So, after my time posting experiment, I don't think it matters. Um, yeah. So, it would show me when my followers are most active, but I don't think that would matter. Right. And then I stopped promoting to the indie hackers 
like the indie hackers hashtag i moved to like finance people people are interested that are interested in finance and the reason why i did this is because the indie hackers on tiktok they're like drop shipping bros or affiliate bros right they don't actually build their own product they don't sell their own product they're not programmers they're just affiliate bros which i don't consider those people indie hackers because yeah okay and then i said i would interact with people more on tiktok but it's too much work um i try to find people from twitter but they're hard to find because there's no like crossover I, like when people post a video on twitter i like check the corner of the video for their their like tiktok username but uh that's about it there's not a lot of people posting tiktok videos in in my circle of people right so there's that okay and then current results so right now i have 15 followers not a lot i know trust me I had 16, but someone that I knew unfollowed me, so that's uncool. But eight of my followers are strangers, which is double how many strangers I had following me before. So, yeah, that's that's about it. And then I have 317 likes from my videos. So, yeah, that's my first 50 update. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.